city awakes to the bells of Notre Dame. The fisherman fishes, the baker man bakes to the bells of Notre Dame. To the pink bells as loud as the thunder. beneath the lofty arches of the church. Congregants, we gather here in this vast symphony of stone on the morning of the Feast of Fools. Our streets will soon be filled with those unsavory elements, criminals, foreigners, and gypsies who have infested our city and are on this one day free to roam without being subject to arrest. Beware the temptations of those less devout than we. We must fight the urge to indulge ourselves. For remember, we are all born sinners. John gives a thousand this story. And Shayon! And Skogoro! 
left. But Frodo didn't hear from his brother for several years. Meanwhile, Frodo ascended uncommonly fast through the ranks of Notre Dame. Till he was laid the archdeacon at last and gave thanks to Notre Dame. And then one doleful day brought a message. And the name that it bore was Shion!
Quasimodo, the cathedral was not only his home, but his universe. It was peopled with figures of marble. With kings and saints. Monsters and demons. The saints blessed him. The monsters protected him. He understood them. And they understood him. Fly, birdies, fly. Don't you wish you could be like those birds and just fly away from me? No. But how wonderful it must be out there. Oh, no, not for me. Why not? It's too dangerous. The boy is right. Don't encourage him. Why shouldn't we? Quasimodo, why don't you try going down there? You, you know I've never gone outside. You can leave any time you want. Master won't allow it. But last year, he said, someday. Maybe. He always says someday, never today. Besides, you shouldn't have to ask for permission of the loud side. Just put one foot in front of the other and sneak out. Ah, I can't. He can't. Quasimodo. Good morning, Quasimodo. Morning, monster. Were you talking to someone? No. Just. My friends. And what are your friends made of? Stone. And can stone talk back? No. That's right. What kind of conversation is that? It takes two people to communicate, my boy. And who is that other person for you? You. You must. All right, again. Corpus Christi. Amen. Corpus Christi. Amen. I brought you a special treat today. Strawberry. Ah! Ah, ah. Self-control, Quasimodo. It's important to master the art. <clears throat> and of manners, too. Tell today's story? Yes, yes! Stories from our home's beautiful windows, and we were up to. F flight into Egypt! That's right, what do you remember about that story? Joseph fled into Egypt! Yes, with his wife, Mary, and. Ba baby Jesus! Yes! And who, who hid them? Who protected them? Saint? Saint Aphrodisias, as I have hidden and protected you. Oh, well, I suppose I must stop stalling. Oh, look at them down there. Like horrible vermin scuttling about. And all to see the gypsies sing and dance. The well, gypsies? You told me gypsies not a wrong thing. That's they are, except on this one day, the Feast of Fools. Feast of Fools? Why our king allows it is beyond me. In other places they've been expelled, even hunted down. But not here. Through borders porous as a sieve, we let them come and let them live. It's almost as if they were given sanctuary. How it fills me with disgust to walk amongst them. Yet I must, I loathe to leave you and our trusty sanctuary. But what if I came with you? Came with me? Perhaps someday, Quasimodo. But, but I am strong. I could protect you. You protect me? Like the saint in the window. Saint of Hardy. Aphrodisias. I'm sorry, my boy. I don't mean to laugh at you. The truth is, that's what others would do. And worse. The world is cruel. The world is wicked. It's I alone whom you can trust in this whole city. I am your only friend. I keep you, feed you, teach you, dress you. I will look upon you. 
upon you without fear. How can I protect you, boy, unless you always stay in here? Away in here. <coughs> Remember what I taught you, Quasimodo. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. And I am ugly. And these are crimes for which the world shows the pity. Ladies 
of death, king of the gypsies, uh, a wild boar among domestic swine. Ah! Haughty, ferocious, bloody dog! Once a year we throw a party here in town. Once a year we turn all Paris upside down. Every man was a king and every king's allowed. Once again it's toxic.
horrible. And it proves him well. Charge. God loves even a monster. 
He's no less human than the rest of us. Oh, some of us are less human in the moral sense. Do you mean me? You dance in public without shame or modesty. I dance because I enjoy it. Others enjoy it too. And give me money. As they would a woman of ill repute. You use your beauty to mesmerize. My beauty is what I was born with. A beauty given to you by God. A God who certainly did not intend you to use it in a licentious way. You also deny possessing black magic. If I had the power of magic, why wouldn't I use it to help myself and my people? You would. You're clever. <laughs> you twist the truth, just as you twist your body and dance. Your grace! There must be some charity inside you. If you've helped that boy, then surely you can extend that kindness to others, almost as unfortunate. How you would wish others to treat you. Could you not treat them? Our Lord Jesus said something very similar. You see him on the cross there, looking down on us. He would Midday Mass is starting, I must go. My child, though your people are lost, there may be something in you that can be saved. Stay. Perhaps you'll see what true beauty is in me. We can continue this conversation afterwards.
appeared in a puff of smoke. Don't believe everything you see. And where do you think you're going? Oh, easy. I just shaved this morning. You missed a spot. Calm down. And give me a chance to apologize. For what? This. No! No! So, I'm impressed. You fought almost as well as a man. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing about you! <laughs> Look, don't try and cause any more trouble. And if I do, you'll arrest me? I have to protect the cathedral. From dirty gypsies like me. I have my orders to follow. And if there's one thing a good soldier knows, it's how to follow orders. <laughs> Who said anything about my being a good soldier? Are you saying you're not? Listen, this promotion has gotten me away from a place I never want to go back to. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep it. Every soldier I've ever met is so full of good excuses. Where are you from, anyway? <laughs> You're asking a gypsy? All I know is I've come from nothing. Just like you. How do you know that about me? Your collar may be smooth, but your hands are rough and grimy from pig slop. And worse. Worse? Burying your comrades in unmarked graves. Yes. Please let me go. I have to see that boy. What happened to him was my fault. A soldier knows not to fight a battle he can't win. <laughs> yes. You soldiers are only interested in winning the battle, not in why it's happening in the first place. Sometimes I wish I could be like that, but in my life I've seen some things. Cruelty and heartlessness. And the danger fighting them brings. Then a fight comes, I say yes. I'm just a fool, I guess. You are a fool. Even in my life, I've seen things too. Heroes die, cowards flee. And I've learned life don't give a suit for sentimentality. No, my lovely nor should we. I don't believe you. You need to be.
years. And she is kind and we're the beginning. We give three cheers to see you all for every city. Look at you sitting on top of the world. She's right from the top of the world. And she is not inspired here and no one is kidding. She would give every summer to me to see you all for every city. The rats are tired and comes out of the world. Here at the top of the world. Quasi Mono, say something. Take our advice. Be brave and say something. Please don't think twice. Quasi Mono, say something. Esperanza! Yes? I. I. It's nice. Two of us sitting. The two of us sitting. The two of us sitting. Impure thoughts. I, impure thoughts. 
Born like you. Already grown in body, possessing those urges and ideas that come to a young man. You must stop them! You must stop these fears! You must not follow in the footsteps of your father! My father! He was weak. And you have his corruption inside you. Now listen to me! Listen to me, Quasimodo. I'm warning you about this girl. She's dangerous. She was sent here. She was put in our paths for a reason. To tempt us. And we resisted. Promise me you won't think of her again. Well, think Promise me! Send the city to sleep. Good night. Good night, Master. But despite his admonition to Quasimodo, Frollo himself could not stop thinking about her. He began to walk the streets night after night, unable to bring himself to return alone to his cold, dark chambers. He barely knew what he was looking for, but he could not resist. Under Bertuzza's eyes, time for Pia. And then Under one night, Bertuzza. walking down an unknown alley. Under Bertuzza's time for Pia. Under Bertuzza's time for Pia. Pleasant. For you too. I have to go. 
she has a sister. I'm sure she does. Thanks, but I'm not interested. Oh, Captain! Have a good dance, night, Frederick. Dance, dance, dance. Come on and take it.
next morning, at the Bastille, the state prison, King Louis XI, nicknamed the Prudent, was examining the latest cages for the prisoners. <coughs> when Archdeacon Frollo arrived, unannounced, Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, there is a gypsy witch who has been endangering our citizens with her sorcery. She must be stopped. I need special powers to protect the people and the church. Frollo, you are a good man, but you know how I hate to be overly hasty. I do, Your Majesty, but I would be careful, lest the people think you are weak, and the various burghers around the city feel the need to get the upper hand. Very well. Do what you feel you must, but be, well, prudent. prudent. <laughs> I assure you, Your Majesty, I will do only what is necessary. By royal edict, warning of arrest, a gypsy known as Esmeralda, being under suspicion of sorcery, witchcraft, and the arts of hell. The cathedral guard will join the king's soldiers to help find her. The cathedral guard? But we have no military power. We do now, by his majesty's own authority. When the state asks for our help, the church must lend support. I take it I can rely on you to deliver her to me. Absolutely, your grace. Cut down the gypsy as Miranda. Don't let her be and vanish in the night. These are the flames of Esmeralda. shall not go unpunished. The heart of the wicked is of little worth. The wicked shall not go unpunished.
makes you a hero, doing what you're afraid of. A hero? Or a saint? You mean like Saint... Saint... What's your name again? Saint Aphrodisius, the bishop of Colosseum. I was oh, beheaded by a mob in Colossus here. And though I made a choice, I did not know the ring. My grisly bought ring. I wouldn't change a thing. For I kept safe that
though the hunchback felt a thrill of fear at once more setting foot outside Notre Dame. But here once again, beyond the parapets of stone, wishing I were feeling so much braver, stealing through the twisted streets of night would be unknown. Still, I must do anything to save her. Creeping past the ghostly fountain, Beside which beggars slept. They ducked into the shadows to avoid being seen. By a pair of women at their window, holding candles which sputtered in the gathering fog. The curfew had sounded long ago, and the streets were becoming blacker and more deserted every moment. They could distinguish nothing of the mass of buildings except the black roofs at strange, acute angles. And the labyrinth of alleys and bridges, like a ball of thread tangled by a cat. Let's go this way! No, no, this way! Suddenly, a ray of light from a half-open bakery! Look out! What? Out! You almost got caught! It was him! It was him! Before you kill us both, please do as I say. Don't be such a pest. Do what you do best. Go home and get some pest. I told you we should have done it. You said? I don't hear anything. Ah! Welcome to the Court of Miracles. <coughs> Very clever to have found that little hideaway. Too bad you won't live to talk about it. Get them inside. <sighs> Maybe you heard of a terrible place where the scoundrels of Paris collect in the lair.
But somehow you have made me someone new Traveling far on a journey That's the longest I've taken yet Now I'm asking if you will let me come with you Though our lives are tattered and torn all I'm feeling now is reborn. I must be in a place of miracles. Where the blind can see. In a place of miracles. A miracle you brought to me. Soldier in the gypsy. I might wish with all my might Your face to take us as my face Was ever meant for heaven's light I can certain life would be spent alone My boy, you let us right to them. I am you no. didn't really think our soldier here had found this place, did you? So, I finally get to see the great <coughs> miracles. It's not so impressive. Arrest the gypsy and the traitor! Spare Phoebus, please! No. Take me! No, take me instead! Oh, how noble you two are. Take them both away. Round up the rest of these gypsies and bring them to the Bastille. Silence! It's all right, we'll find it. My boy. I'm very disappointed in you. But I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised the temptation was simply too great. Take him back to the bell tower. Make sure he cannot leave it! Justice in Paris was often displayed in the square at Notre Dame. A pyre was laid in the square at Notre Dame. There came some, there was some entertainment, and some who wished all gypsies harm. Oh, my brother was growing, a gypsy was growing to burn. And I had Notre
brings me no pleasure. I would much rather set you free. And why don't you? Because in order to do that, I would need you to make me a promise. You see, I still want to help you. I still believe your soul can be saved. Not the way you'd save it, I'd rather die! What about Phoebus, your son god? Would you rather he die as well? No. His fate lies in your hands. Why me? I don't understand. Why me, of all people? I don't know why I wish I knew. Sometimes we're drawn to the very things that repel us. You truly are a monster. No, no. Esmeralda, if these last few weeks have taught me anything, it's that my curse is. I'm truly human. Take pity on me. I've deserted myself. You don't know what my love for you is. It's, 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 it's fire. It's hot lead. Juicy witch, you're rousing me. The foolish wish to set you free. I'll take you somewhere I can be your sanctuary. I will save your sorceress and raise you up to holiness. Together we will share a blessed sanctuary. from it together. When all this is gone, and the world is there. I used to believe the days I was naive that I live to see a day of justice dawn.
guilty of stabbing a soldier of the church and guilty of the crime of witchcraft. The sentence is death. I will give you this opportunity to recant and save yourself.
Esmeralda! Beaten them back! Oh. Esmeralda! You are home.
is cruel. The world is ugly. But there are times and there are people when the world is not. And that is cruel. This is still the only world we got. Light and dark. Foul and fair. Oh, there. Thank you. 